All right. I just disassembled the, uh, or took out the I-75 controller uh, from my airplane. The, uh, uh, the BEC cut out in the middle of a flight and uh, somehow I was able to get it landed. Uh, and then a few days later the service advisory uh, came out about the loose heat sinks. Uh, and what I had noticed was that the uh, heat sink seemed to be a little loose. It's hard to tell. Um, but if I squeeze it or rock it back and forth, um, I can uh, see a little movement in there. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to have to send this controller back to Castle anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it up uh, to see if indeed the heat sinks are uh, loose or have been separated from the FETs. Uh, so I've never opened this up yet. So what I'm going to do is just peel the uh, labels back and, uh, and take the, the caps off. And uh, hopefully uh, this won't be too much trouble. The caps uh, kind of hold the uh, labels in place and the labels are then holding the two uh, halves together. Uh, so hopefully I will be able to get these caps removed here quickly. Alright, so that cap's removed. Let me go ahead and uh, take care of the other side. Looks like I cut that label a little bit. Not a big deal. I'm going to be sending this back to Castle anyway. Okay. Alright. So now that that label's removed, I'm going to pull this cap back. Bingo. As you can see, these two heat sinks are uh, clearly separated. It looks like the, uh, the glue joint uh, here has, uh, has failed. This glue, as you can see, is it's pretty brittle uh, and just falls apart in my hand. So the speed controller is definitely Uh, not bonded together with the with the glue that they provided. So, uh, yep. Don't know if this is what caused my issue, but uh, as you can see, uh, this was a Castle 75, and uh, the heat sinks are not properly uh, adhered to one another. Um, and uh, maybe that's what caused my BEC to. Uh, to cut out in flight. So anyway, hope you guys are able to see that and uh, recognize what happens when the heat sinks aren't uh, properly glued together. Um, also, I had a Castle HV-80 uh, burn up on me in flight on one of my helicopters and I just got the 80 HV back. Um, I've noticed that there is a significant amount of glue in between the two halves, okay, and uh, there is no there is no rocking whatsoever in the heat sinks. Uh, I'm not going to peel the labels back. Uh, this one looks very very solid. Um, um, so they've definitely. It looks like they're even using a different type of glue. Uh, it's darker than the uh, the glue on the I-75. So let me get a closer. Zoom in on that. Uh, so anyway, uh, looks very, very solid. I think um, they figured out uh, whatever the uh, defect was in the adhesive and, and uh, things are looking much more solid now. So uh, hopefully this, uh, this has resolved the issue.